the risk of getting uh, exposed to COVID-19 or to actually the coronavirus, because COVID-19 is actually the name of the disease you get, but coronavirus is the novel coronavirus is the virus. The risk of, of being exposed to it is the same, unfortunately, for every human being on earth. The more people we come in contact with, the more people we come within six feet of, the more we're out in the world, that makes a higher risk. But uh, there are no populations of people who under the circumstances of the same amount of contact are gonna have a higher risk than anybody else, right? If you are in, uh, for example, uh, some sort of home with a lot of other people, there's a lot of people coming in and out to care uh, for those people, then there's more contact and unfortunately that may increase the risk. But otherwise, everybody is at the same risk of contracting the virus. Uh, as far as we know, people with neurologic diseases are not at higher risk of getting severe COVID. That's more associated with a couple of other things. Number one is, you know, what kind of health are you in in general? Are you a healthy person or not a healthy person? Have you had problems with your lungs before? You know, somebody who's had a lot of pneumonias may have some scarring or other things in their lungs that would make their lungs more susceptible to severe disease. Um, do you have other conditions like diabetes or heart disease? then certainly you're at higher risk um, of being more sick. And if you're more sick, unfortunately, of not doing well. Age is a big factor. We know that between, you know, under the age of 19, you may get COVID, but you're not going to be that sick from it. You know, from 19 to 29, it's very unusual to be that sick. Uh, as you get higher and higher in age, more and more people will have bad sickness from COVID-19, and unfortunately, more and more people will succumb to that sickness. And those things are additive. So if you're old and you have an underlying disease, or maybe you're a smoker, this would be a good time to give up smoking, by the way. Um, or maybe you have diabetes. You know, the more things that you add together, the higher the risk. Um, if you have a neurologic disease that makes you, in general, sicker, like um, you have Lou Gehrig's disease or you have Alzheimer's disease, then probably that increases the risk. But if you have something like epilepsy that in general doesn't make people's bodies sick, then the risk of getting severe disease is pretty much the same as everybody else.